All right, time for another math. Easy. So, sort of discuss, so well, basically, a simple proof of this summation here, basically, where I sum up n positive consecutive integers, meaning basic sigma notation here, uh, where i is initially 1 up to n here, or 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus uh, 4, 5, etc., all the way up to n, whatever n is. And then here, you're going to get uh, this formula here. I'll show you to get this proof n times basically n plus 1 divided by 2. Now the proof of the proof that I'm going to show is basically done by uh, German mathematician Carl Frederick Gauss. You, you're probably going to hear him a lot in physics and what uh, and whatnot. This uh, Gauss, especially this last name. Basically he was born in the 1700s or 1800s up to 1900s and he did this proof when he was 10 years old. So he was a, yeah, but he's a genius as a kid or just a child prodigy and whatnot. But basically this his proof, what he would do is write this sum in two ways. First, we write down as the usual form, just like above, we'll call S as a sum, plus 2, plus 3, plus uh, whatever, all the way up to N. And then he would write it again, but reverse. So now we're going to go with the N. We're going to go N, and then plus N minus 1 here, because it's always decreasing. And then N minus 2, because yeah, instead of going forward here, like adding one, we're going to subtract one every single time. Then we're going to go n minus 3, etc., all the way up to, well, n. I mean, I mean 1 here. So then if we sum this up here, and then what he did, does after is he basically sums these up together, sums up this, this row with this row, so you're going to get 2 times the sum is equal to, well, you just look at this one here. Every single term uh, lines up. This is going to be n plus 1. And then here, 2 plus the, the first term, or the second term in this here, and minus 1. This one's going to be n, mi n plus 1 as well. And same with the 3 here. This is going to be, well, n plus 1, because negative 2 plus 3 is equal to 1. And then also you're going to have a 4 here. This one lines up with, with this one here. And this is going to be n plus 1. And then all the way, et cetera, et cetera, all the way into the last one, the last terms, they match up. This is going to be n plus 1. So he just sum them up this way. And as you can see, this is just n terms here. And then if they're n terms here, then basically you could just multiply it out. This would be just 2s equals to n times n plus 1 here. And then as you can see, if you just uh, now just divide the 2 out, you're going to get s is equal to n, n plus 1 over 2 here. And this is the proof that I just showed you. Yeah, so that is the proof, and this exact same formula is right here. And now, if you were to do an example to illustrate the, how it works, basically you could see that it's true if you have, let's say, n is equal to uh, 9 here, and you have i is equal to 1 here of i. This one's going to be equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3, etc., all the way up to 9. And also, you'd, or you just put in the formula, this is going to be 9, 9 plus 1 over 2. So this is going to be a 10 divided by 2 is a 5, so it equals to 9 times 5 equals to 45. And you could even test that out here. Just Let's, let's just add these up. Yeah, just with the calculator here, let's just go 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9. Yeah, 45. So as you can see, it, it works here, and it's pretty easy, uh, just this formula here, and it is yeah, derived by this uh, this crazy smart guy, Carl uh, Gauss here. You're going to see this a lot in physics and calculus uh, later on. But basically, that's all for today. Hopefully, you learned. And, um, uh, yeah, you can download these notes in the Dropbox link below, like always. Let me know if it doesn't work. I'll fix it. But anyway, stay tuned for another math easy solution.